Okay, let's look at how to clip a video using a Venomux. So you're going to add your video either by dragging and dropping it into the area or by clicking File and Open. Either way will work and add your video in. So once your video is inside, you have to configure your video output, audio output, and audio import. So over here, we're going to set our video output um, to MPEG-4 AVC by 264. So that one. We're going to set our audio output to AAC FAAC. So I'm going to look for that one, and it is this one. And then finally, we're going to submit our output format to MP4 Muxer. So it's going to be the MP4 MUXER. So we're going to do that. Okay, now we have it configured. So now we just need to get to the part of the video that we want to clip. So you can either move your playhead to that particular spot. If you know the time in minutes and seconds, you can click on time and you can add um, the minutes and seconds of where you want your playhead to go to and just choose OK. This spot is fine for me. And so when I have my starting spot, I'm going to click on the A. And that's going to add like this this rectangle around the things. Now wherever the rectangle is, is going to is the part of the video that it is going to record. So then I'm going to move my playhead to set my ending spot. So I'm going to have it end at this location right here. So now I'm going to click on B and you can see the full rectangle at this point. So the places where the rectangle is between this point and this point. You can also see the time numbers over here on the right that it says it's going to start. A is starting at my 30 second mark and B is ending at my 1 minute and 22 second mark. And so when I have that exactly how I wanted it, maybe I wanted my B to be a little bit further so I can change my B and it will adjust. Um, or maybe I want it to be a little closer and so it'll adjust. You just choose your B. So once you have this set where you want your video to be, you have to just go in. You can either click the save icon here or you can do file and save. And I leave all the settings the same and I just choose a name for my video and I choose save and it's going to go through the process and to clip my video. Now my video was extremely short uh, but if your video that is approximately 20 minutes in length um, will probably take about 10 minutes for it to go through. Um, but when we look at our file size, it will be well under the th it should be well under the 300 um, megabyte option um, if you're doing a 20 minute video clip. But if you come if you to check that um, on a Windows computer, you can right click on the um, thing and then go to the file and go to properties, and it will tell you how the size of your video. So mine is extremely small, and we expected it because it was really short. Okay. This has been a tutorial of how to clip a video in a Vitamux software. Now, each time you go into a Vitamux software, um, you're going to have to reset these output settings. So let, let me show you. If we close this and we open this back up, you see these settings are gone. So we would have to reset them, um, reset the settings so they will. Um, work for each time we do it. You'll always want to play your video and make sure it looks like you expect it to and that it um, the sounds like you expect it to as well. Again, this has been a tutorial video of the Avidimux software.